Hi everyone, this is Jared. Uh, I want to come to you and talk to you today about this finished painting that you see behind me. Uh, many of you followed me on my Instagram and Facebook uh, development of this painting. And um, so I want to talk to you about the inspiration of this painting for a little bit. I don't really work off of, uh, that would be a really pretty scene as much as I do that. It's an inspiration that really gets me going and gets me excited and it gets me uh, spiritually and, uh, renewed. And, and so uh, this is the seventh painting that has been a series of, of seven thus far. It's going to be many, many more. In a tribute to uh, my brother who uh, left Earth on two, November the 24th of 2018. And so uh, that was the reason for this painting. It's inspired by a painting I'd done previously, and uh, I just loved the way that painting turned out. And it's a singular scene. And the, um, the Native Americans have gone to Blue Lake to celebrate their forthcoming uh, pilgrimage, and so they're preparing the way for those that will be following shortly. And so um, that's the setting for this, this painting. There's 11 figures. It's done in oil. Uh, it's uh, 96 inches long, and it's 50 inches tall. And that's, uh, I mean, that's plus the frame. It's, uh, it's, what is it, 60 inches tall and 106 inches long. So um, it took me 42 days, 289 hours and 10 minutes. How, how long is it 10 minutes? I check in my clock every morning. I run on my calendar. I, I go to work at 8.17 and I quit at 4.17 or whatever I do and I add that up. And so whatever that is, at the end of the creation of the painting, that's the inventory number of the painting. So it took 42 days and 289 hours and 10 minutes. So what um, this painting was created for by inspiration was, I've, I've had um, numerous people for a considerable length of time uh, say, Jerry, you should tell your story. Again, just a fascinating story. You know, we have lived several lives, I can tell you that. And so I would say, no, I don't think anybody would be interested in that. And so one particular gentleman finally persuaded me, will you please let me come to your studio and just video you rambling about your stories and stuff. Okay, I give up, so you can come. But instead, I said, you can't come with your video camera. You've got to bring a professional videographer that will film me talking and singing and tell them about these paintings and stories and our lives. And if at the end of that she tells me that this is sellable or marketable or interesting enough, then I'll consider doing one. And out of that came the birth of the concept of writing a book, an art book, about a, a, bi a biography about, I don't know, I've been painting 63 years. I started at 13, I'm now 76. So what does it look like to paint for 63 years uh, and try to make a living at the same time? Let me tell you something, it's a challenge. Especially when I wasn't trained in art at all. What, what I know, I've, I've, I've taught myself by actually observing the old Talos founders and wondering how in the heck did they paint this, this scene. And, and each, each, each uh, Talos founder painted their own individual selection of scenes from Taos. You can spot how, much, uh, how they favored a certain, uh, certain part of Taos. But they painted it in similar coloring. So I set out wanting to know that. That's part of my story. So this painting was created as a, um, a vehicle through which that when this painting finds its way to its home, its destination, its, its predestined place that it's going to hang permanently, the sale of that painting will fund my project which is a book, a uh, full-length PBS-type uh, biography. Um, I'm, I'm doing a new album. Years ago, I was uh, on MCA Records back in the 70s. We've sung all of our lives, so I'm going to be uh, redoing some of those, and a new album is coming for it. The, uh, the book itself will have a chip in the book that has the video, the, the biography, and the soundtracks. And so once that's purchased, uh, you have a whole story of what I, what I'm 
my experience. This particular painting is, um, most of my paintings are, 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 are titles. Uh, some people will be like, I don't remember that title at all. Well, I don't either. You know, once I do it, I'm, I'm done. Because mostly it's a, it's a long phrase that describes the content of the painting. I have a, a whole list of hundreds of names. So I'll, I'll read poems, I'll read a book, I'll hear something on television, I'll hear a song. That was a wonderful phrase, I'll just jot it down. So when this painting was finished, I needed to title it. And so uh, I go to my, my, uh, my sheets and I come up with uh, this title. First of all, for me, my paintings must reach a level of quietness. They must sink a level of peace or I'm not content. As long as there's a friction within it, I'm not, I'm not satisfied. And so when a painting actually reaches that, okay, I don't know anything else to do. I consider myself finished. So in this particular painting, for me, there's 11 figures. It looks as though there's a quietness amongst their being there. There's a reverence. I sense a peaceful reverence that they're experiencing because they know they're on holy ground for themselves. And um, so the title of the painting was uh, In the Quiet Hour Can You Hear the Sounds of Color? I, I believe myself to be a colorist more than I am anything. Uh, I, I believe that uh, color and music run on a similar created level. There's a physics involved. There's one that you hear, there's one that you, that you see. But the creation of it makes your spirit go off, makes your stomach go off. If you go into a painting and you go like, whew, I like that, that's spirit. That's what that is. And if you hear a, hear a soundtrack or a music, it's, it's on a piece of tape, and yet you can get chills all over yourself. That's spirit coming through the creation of that. And so, for me, this painting reached that level. And so, the title of it is, uh, once again, In the Quiet Hour, Can You Hear Sounds of Color? Please enjoy it. Come and see it at Parsons West, Towson, Mexico. Thank you.